Hi everyone, this is Lei Zhang, and I'm a PhD student in the School of Information at the University of Michigan. I'm very happy to present VRGit, a version control system for collaborative content creation in virtual reality. This work is done by me, Ashtosh, and my advisors, Dr. Stevoni and Dr. An Hongguo. Virtual reality can enable intuitive and compelling experiences for users to explore 3D content collaboratively. For example, immersive authoring tools can leverage users' spatial capabilities for content creation tasks such as urban planning in VR. Research has shown that supporting collaborative content creation requires rich history keeping so that users can revert to previous states or explore different design alternatives. Furthermore, as modern workforces in creative domains are becoming diverse in terms of their skill sets and backgrounds, it is important to support communication and coordination among various roles, including designers, developers, and customers. Version control systems have been used widely for keeping track of version history of digital content among collaborators. However, most current version control systems, such as Git, are designed for text rather than spatial data such as 3D scenes. For example, a depth view of changes of a 3D model using Git does not provide any semantic information other than just line differences. A recent study also suggests that version control for creative domains should be designed based on the needs of creative processes, as creative practitioners could prioritize different values from those in the software engineering domain. Prior exploration in version control systems for 3D scenes have primarily focused on comparing and merging mechanisms on 2D displays, but still lacks knowledge regarding how to enable multiple users to track version history in VR. Therefore, in our work, we investigate how we can design the visualization and interactions of a version control system in VR that supports collaborative awareness and communication. Without further ado, let me introduce VRKit, a collaborative version control system in VR. Now imagine an interior designer is working on multiple design solutions for an apartment in VR. They can create and manipulate 3D furniture directly in VR using our system. VRKit can then record the user's operations and visualize a history graph anchored to the user's non-dominant arm. Inside the history graph, each node is represented using a miniature of the version state. The color of each object in that miniature represents the differences from the previous version. For example, yellow represents changing of an object, red means deletion, and green means addition. If the designer is unsatisfied with the current design or makes a mistake, they can easily go to the previous state by navigating the history graph using the controller. Now, let's suppose the designer just finished one design, but wants to explore a design alternative of the sofa, like this. Using VRGit, they can easily create a branch based on a previous version. Then they can keep on working on that branch by creating a different sofa. As a result, the history graph can visualize multiple branches to the user. If the designer wants to preview a different version without changing their current workspace, they can pull up a preview of the version in the history graph, which is essentially a larger miniature of that version. They can also create multiple previews of design alternatives and compare them by putting them side by side. For example, if the designer likes the chairs from other versions or branches, they can reuse those chairs by selecting them in the preview. Beyond supporting version control in VR, our system also facilitates communication and workspace awareness in real-time collaboration. For example, here are the views from two users. If we focus on user 2, the user on the right, she wants to experiment with a different design of the sofa, but doesn't want to interfere with her collaborator, so she creates a new branch to work on a different design. But as you may have noticed, when they are working on different branches, they might not be aware of where collaborators are or see what they are working on. 
For example, the user on the right is manipulating a different sofa on the different branch, but the other user has no idea. VRKit provides this awareness by anchoring many avatars in the history graph so users can know which versions or branch their collaborators are working on. If a user wants some quick feedback from their collaborator, instead of disturbing their work context and asking them to teleport, they can quickly create a portal that shares the first-person view to each other. They can then give feedback to each other using voice chat without switching their workspace and actively monitor and understand their collaborators' activities. During a discussion with collaborators, if the user wants to refer to a specific version, it is difficult for the other user to understand from their perspective because each user has a different view of the local history graph on their arms. To reduce this sort of friction, VRGit introduces shared history visualization, where the local history graph moves to a shared location in the virtual scene. Similar to screen sharing, the user can start sharing their history graph and the operations are then synced to every user to ensure that they have the same view and understanding. Here, instead of going to a different version by herself, the sharer can bring everyone in the room to that version. They can also have a shared preview and discuss which design they want to reuse collectively. For example, they can collectively decide to reuse the desk and the chair in a discussion. With all these techniques combined, including history keeping, branching, previewing, reusing, collaborative editing, portals, and shared history visualization, our system is aimed for supporting a complete multi-user, multi-branch version control in VR. We conducted a lab study with 14 participants with the goal of evaluating the usability and utility of, of VRGit and the communication and awareness in collaboration. During the study, participants were asked to design the floor plan of an apartment both individually and collaboratively. We collected data through surveys and interviews. Below are some of the key findings. For the usability and utility of VRGit, we found that the visualization of the system makes it easy to track history. For example, one participant said that, compared to something like Git, where I have struggled to make sense of things like which branch I'm on or how it differs from other branches, I really like the visualization of the VR system and being able to see little preview models of the rooms and the way they branch. We also found that the interaction of navigating history graph could introduce a learning curve. For example, one participant commented that when the history becomes longer, it is harder to see and navigate to previous versions. In terms of the collaborative awareness and communication of VRGit, we found that portals could enable convenient communication on ideas. For example, one participant said that with portals, you don't have to step out from your room to actually go to the second room. You can just be in your room and just from there, you can see what is happening in the other room. We also found that shared history could provide foundation for discussion. For example, one participant said that if I actually didn't agree with my collaborator's final design, I can say, OK, actually, I like what you did in version 3 here. Can we branch off of version 3 and explore something else here? And the fact that you have this shared vision collectively, it gives that opportunity to branch off of the design. Finally, let's discuss some design implications for future researchers to build version control systems in VR. First, our findings suggest that navigating longer history can be challenging using existing interactions. Future work could investigate techniques such as more sophisticated clustering methods or incorporating different levels of resolution of the history graph. Second, we recommend providing swift communication channels without breaking the user's current working contest such as using portals, and providing shared understanding among collaborators, such as using a shared history visualization. Finally, if we think about the creative process of producing VR content, many aspects might take place outside of the immersive environments, such as programming and debugging. Future research could thus explore a hybrid form of version control system that bridges both the inside and outside of VR. To sum up, we present a version control system designed for VR that enables users to navigate history and create branches of 3D scenes, and supports sharing and discussion in collaboration. Please see our paper for more insights and technical details. 
Thank you for watching.